could have been a member of the tight team. She declined. Yo, it's uh, Richie Pharrell, music producer, rapper, guy. Uh, I was born and raised in Oakland. I moved out to the South Bay. You call me producer first, rapper second. When I was growing up, my mom, she used to decorate a church that was nearby the house. On the Saturdays before the Sunday, she would always go in there. It'd just be me and her in the church. And so all the instruments on the stage would always just be chilling. And, and everybody was cool with me just fucking around. And it was a real organ. Like the, the, the pipes were actually in the back of the church. You know what I'm saying? Like she noticed me playing the piano and, and taking an interest. Uh, she got me some lessons. But I've been making music since high school, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and my buddies, we started turntable and, and big into the turntable scene and scratching and, 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 and beat juggling and stuff like that. And we got a four track recorder way back in the day and that's how we started doing things. What did I have back then? I had a little PC running um, <laughs> Cool Edit Pro and I had that, I had the four track rigged. Then I had Fruity Loops running. I had, a, I, you name it, you name the programs that were, were out then. I was, I was messing with them. Um, I straight up had the, the Pro Tools handbook, and I would read it and uh, and figure out how to do it. I didn't have any homies that were. I was like the first, first in my camp to graduate to Pro Tools. Yeah, man, my first drum machine. What was it? Uh, um, it was a 303 or some shit like that, and I had like some Elises something. Uh, I fuck with battery tough. I pride myself on on a sound, you know, a mood. Not really, not really focused on keeping up with um, with what's current. It's it's um, there's a sound that I'm going for, not compromising anything. I mean, it's easy to sound dated when you use some stock patches or, or stock sound sets. So it's always, I mean, I'll definitely use it as a, as a bit as somewhere to start. It's always some some manipulation or some filtering or some some sort of distortion on it to make it my own. Apparently, I just really, really want to establish myself as a producer slash, you know, MC. He's like, dude, you should rap. And I'm like, nah, man, like I can't even hear myself or spitting on a song. And, you know, you go through that, that honeymoon stage of hearing your voice and you just like, ugh. You know, nobody really likes the sound of their voice when they first hear it on, on, on a recording. I got real comfortable at one point and, and made something that, that was cool and, and it kind of built my confidence. Lock shit down, be the key to the door. Everything but a whore, never play with a whore. Like shit that be the flame to the torch. Go third like much, third like much. Right motherfuckers understand when I tell. You know, I really want to be known for, for my creative aspect more so than anything. Like the, the MC and the writing that comes with it, like that's something you're supposed to do. But being able to, you know, construct a project from start to finish, that's something that a lot of people really can't do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just like making dope shit. I have a sound that I really like to stick to. A lot of my, my lyrical content is like the extreme of my relationship with 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 anybody. Uh, I always write the best verses after a fight with the girl. <laughs> Those are always some fire verses. Life experiences for sure play a part in um, in all my writing. That's usually where it starts. I take a lot of time on the vocal process and it, and uh, and I like weird shit too. So uh, the weirder I can get it, the better. I'm really big on strain from song structure and, and or at least traditional song structure and, and and doing some off the wall shit like that's that's really appeals to me so stevie wonder like he's a huge influence if i got to play some harmonica for stevie wonder that'd be that'd be the truth right there <laughs> i always follow the legends like all over the bay wherever they would go i would be there watching their shows and, and seeing them interact with fans was always sort of captivating and, and down south uh music has always been an influence like it's always been there barry music has always been an influence growing up in oakland is fall in love with shoes and you listen to music that's what you do but listening to underground hip-hop too like like i fell into that scene and and then um it opened my eyes to lyricism, to wordplay, and the main goal right now is just making something decent that would be looked up, looked back on like that was a good piece of work, you know. It was a huge influence. The battle turntable scene, 
it exposed me to, you know, different records. I, I would I would go digging, you know, and I would come across this and like, whoa, this is dope. But I would have never, ever ventured into something like that had I not, you know, gone the turntable route. Uh, alternative music, like that was great too, because live or acoustic drums or acoustic sounds and distorted guitars, like that was huge. Now I'm in a phase where I listen to, like, like I said, like things like James Blake, like he's fucking weird, man, but I love that shit. We just wrapped up a project, L Triple XV. It's dropping June 11th. We got another project uh, that we're gonna drop called Higher. It's the follow. It's kind of a, it's a different project. It's not really a follow up to to L Triple XV. It's something completely different. Very melodic, vocal oriented. You know, it's, it's definitely a darker project. Uh, there, there's there's a lot of hip hop elements to it. Um, in points, I kind of. I kind of get to the synthy, more melodic vocal processed sound that I'm really uh, adopting now. It, it, more of a hip hop influence, for sure. Uh, yeah. Easy women get compliments with a kiss. Stay on that fly shit. Back in like 06. Got approached by a man that told me he had a plan by means of the ball pen. Only if I was in, he turned me into the man. Wasn't exactly him, but shortly after I said. Yo, it's Richie Pharrell. Music producer, songwriter, extraordinaire. <laughs> Told me the whole plan of how to become the man. Told me once I began, I totally understand. I know it sound like a